Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I have a very nice bunkhouse travel trailer for you. It is the 2022 Zinger 328 SB. And one of the reasons why I'm so excited to show you this camper is here at RV Nation, we just recently picked them up. Haven't been selling them for too long and we are all stoked uh, about the about this camper. It's a nice little alternative to like a Salem or a Delaterra that we already carry, um, but they're they're really nice. You got that nice outdoor kitchen. You got big, nice, wide slides. You got the solid entry steps, pass through storage, all the works in this bad boy. But today, oh excuse me. But today I'm gonna take you on about 10 to 15 minute tour here of the inside and outside. Show you what this thing's all about. But if you guys like RV videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Maybe drop a comment and say hi. Let me know how I did. And if you guys are curious on pricing, uh, you know, make sure to text or email me. My contact information will be down in the description. But again, 2022 Zinger 328 SB. And the reason why I like this camper so much is, you know, when you're going camping with kids, you just need space, 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 space. And this back bunk room is impressive. And since this is a bunk model, I figured I'll just go ahead and start, you know, back in the bunk room and work my way forward there to that master bed, um, you know, up there that you see. So you walk back here into the bunk room, pretty unique little setup. Uh, the Delterra has a floor plan just like this. So if you don't like the decor on this, I encourage you to look at the Delterra. I believe it's a 312 BH that I just did a video of recently. But you have this little entertainment area right here with some storage. You're also going to notice you have a TV backer. So on those rainy days, you know, the kids can play their video games, watch some movies, do what they do, kind of stay out of your hair, you know, instead of uh, instead of driving you bonkers here, trapped up in this little box. But you got yourself a big old bunk right there with a 300-pound load capacity. So even a big old fellow like myself, check it out. Even I could sleep in there, barely. Maybe not if I eat or drink a lot that night. Uh, but you also got yourself, you know, this nice vent up here, uh, you know, for to get some air circulating. Emergency exit out the back. So for some reason, something crazy happens. You just pull this tab, push it out. Everyone's getting out of here, you know, nice and safe. Couple outlets right here. Another bunk, you know, sitting on that L, which I think is pretty sweet. Really fun for the kids for sure. And then over here, you got kind of a unique little dealio. You got your jackknife sofa right there so you can pick it up and lay it down. Then you also have this little spare mattress there underneath that you can pull out into the middle. So, I mean, you could definitely sleep, you know, one there, one here, one there, one there, and then one here, of course. Uh, so you get a ton of sleeping in this. They did a really good job of using this back space. And then if you're not too familiar, you know, with a lot of these campers, you can pick that up and latch it in. That way you can use that in traditional couch mode. So that way they can watch their movies, you know, not go too insane, you know, claustrophobic. But really nice little bunk room set up. I'm a big fan of that. You also got your sliding door latch right there. You know, slide that open. You're good to go. As you walk in, you know, to here, you got two entrances on this. You're going to see that's the lid for the outdoor kitchen, which we'll show you on the exterior portion. Uh, but you have a really nice size bathroom. Um, so what I like about that, having that extra door, is you can access it while you're at the campground without muddying up the rest of your camper. Um, you know, you kind of get in and out, zipping and doo dah zippity doo dah Right there. You got some storage. Got yourself a sink. Outlet. Really everything that you need in the bathroom. Gets the job done. You got the radius shower. A little bit lacking on space, which is not one of my favorite showers. Uh, but, you know, you're camping, getting the job done. You make some concessions for the extra storage, the extra sleeping, you know, all of that. Uh, right across the way from here, you do get a little bit of that extra storage I was just talking about. Bada bing, bada boom. Check out the size of that slide with the blue accent lighting, looking real nice. But you get your nice oversized U-shaped dinette, which is a big plus. I put this down in sleeper mode. Put a couple cushions there. You're sleeping two adults, you know, no problem. But I wanted to show it to you like that. Of course, you know, you can put the legs in. Always lift it up for your traditional U-shaped dinette. What this nice, wide, open, tall slide gets you is really nice size windows. 
So these blinds, they're looking good. They're kind of like a nightshade, um, but all these windows open, but they're also huge and they're tinted. So, you know, you get those nice, wide, tall um, windows so that way you can see the views, really enjoy kind of that camp scene. You're also gonna see you got two USBs right there that you can plug in underneath. You got yourself a little bit of storage and that goes all the way back. And that's gonna be the same, you know, over there as well. <clears throat> got yourself a jackknife sofa right here. So a good place to sleep somebody. And then as you roll around, you got your kitchen area. And this is all looking sharp. I do like the blue accents. Typically in the blue act with the blue accents, I'm not really a big fan of them, but I think here they're just light enough to where it's still looking sharp. You got your North Cold refrigerator. So you can definitely pack away, you know, weeks worth of food, no problem in that bad boy. Below the oven, you have your fuse box. Just enough space to cook your up a DiGiorno, get some pizza rolling. Three stove top burner. You got plenty of counter space. Double stainless steel undermounted bowl with a residential high rise faucet. As far as storage goes here, you have three of these pull out drawers, the bottom one being the biggest, but you got that one, this one, and then right there. Underneath the sink, you also have a bunch of storage as well. And some access to your plumbing if you ever were to need it. <coughs> got yourself a nice little window. Backsplash there. Keep things nice and tidy. You got a little hood with a light. And then a fan. That way if you're cooking, you know, you can kind of get some of that air out. Greystone microwave. And some good storage space. Right here is a place for a, uh, a TV mount. You can see that sticker right there. That's where you would mount your TV. This unit is, as you can see also, wired for solar. So that's always nice. Got a nice little sound bar there for zone A and B that's gonna be inside and outside. You're also gonna notice that it's got an aux in and a USB so that way you can get some music bumping. It's also gonna come with this Furion built-in electric fireplace and that thing puts out some serious heat for sure. On a day that it's about 45 degrees, that'll be more than enough to heat you know this entire area of the camper, which is really nice. You might wanna you know kind of open up the door for that bunk room for that heat to get through there, but a lot, a lot of heat. Spin around, you're gonna notice both sides, you know, to get away from the, it's not necessarily a walk around bed, although you can squeeze between the wall, but they do that so that way, you know, you can get in and out, you know, really easily. But you got yourself a good size queen bed. Some storage there up underneath. Outlets and USBs, outlets, emergency exit, TV mounting zone, along with the outlets and the cable hookups, little storage there up above. And then on both sides, you got this nice little nook right there. That way you can hook up, you know, your CPAPs or anything else that you might need. And each side there and here, <coughs> has this nice little area for some hanging storage. But I believe that about does it for the inside portion of this tour. Again, this was the 2022 Zinger 328 SB. If you guys made it this far, if you guys can hit that like and subscribe button for me, I would definitely appreciate it. Oh, before we head out, I forgot to show you this little storage right there. And then, you know, of course the, uh, the control center. So this is gonna be all your lights. That's what it looks like without that.
still looking sharp as can be. Slide one and two, and then your awning. We get to the outside, you're gonna see this awning is a very good size. You also have the LED strip there underneath. Marine grade speakers out here to get some music bumping. Place for some water. Solid step entry steps by Lippert. So those just fold right into the door. This customer went ahead and put it on the electric stabilizing jacks. That's always nice to have. You know, extend and retract. Good size pass through storage. Got a starter kit right there. That's 100 smackaroonies. Comes with a whole bunch of good stuff. Three year structural warranty here on the Zingers. So that's nice. It's a little bit above the, you know, the industry standard of one. Power tongue jack. Battery disconnect. So on this camper, you do have these two slides, like I mentioned, both of which are eligible to put on a slide topper. If you're not familiar with that, it is basically, you know, an awning for the top of the slide to keep the debris off, the sun off, the water off. So that way you don't have any issues uh, with your slides. Those run you $700 installed. While they might be a little bit pricey, they are money well spent for sure. On the back end here of this Zinger, you got your bumper mounted spare tire. You got an outside shower, your city water connection, and some access for a cable and satellite hookup. You're also gonna notice that they come backup prepped for a Furion observation camera. That would run you $550 installed, but you get a five and a half inch screen that you, or four and a half inch screen, I'm sorry, that you can suction cup onto uh, your dashboards so that way you can see what's going on behind you with distance markers so it's a really nice feature you know to add and then to round out the old torska rooney you got yourself the outdoor kitchen so right underneath here you got your lp quick connect that would be for your flame king burner so you got two burners out here really nice to use that you know cook your up some burgers or whatever kind of food you're wanting to do you also have plenty of counting space for all the fix-ins. A mounting area for an outside TV. You know, that's always really nice. Watch a game, watch a movie, hang out, chillax. You're good to go. Outlets and a little cable, you know, hook up. The sink on this bad boy is actually plumbed in. You know, so that's always a plus to actually have the water run into your tanks. And then you have yourself an outdoor mini fridge. Pack yourself up a... Uh, you know, 48 pack of some apple juices and hit the road. Some storage right there. Well, yeah, I think that about does it. Um, again, this was the tour of the 2022 Zinger 328SB. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great night. See ya.